This is a Moodle for Teachers workshop. The workshop is self-based, but you can do it in four weeks and even less. So let's get started. First of all, you're invited to read the overview, which is right here. And then you'll follow things from left to right in the center of the page. Notice what's on the left and what's on the right. Right now, uh, you don't need it, but you will need it when you become a teacher and manager of a course. So to start you off, you read the overview. Once you finish reading the overview, you go on to the next section. The next session is called week one, but as I said, it's self-paced. So you go at your own pace. Consider it your first section. In the first section, there's a layout of the course and a video that uh, is available. Read this. Notice the markings, these check marks. The dotted line means that you cannot tick it off. You'll get it ticked off. It will appear once you complete the task. The task here is to go into this and read. Next is an introduction. You introduce yourself here, and once you do that, you'll be able to have it ticked off. The only place where you can take it off is right here where it's not dotted. Okay, it's a complete bar and there I'm going to show you how it's done. You just click on it and there, there's your checklist. Here's another one. All right, so that's how it works. This one, you can tick as much as you want until you go in and view it. And let me just show you what you have to do here. All you need to do is simply read it. This is the layout of a Moodle course with its resources, list of activities, and the blocks. This, of course, changes uh, depending on the administrator and the school where you work. You can add more blocks. Some of them uh, come with a raw Moodle, but most of them are added. Same with the activities. The resources are generally what you get with every Moodle course. So let's go back. Now I can go back through here. Here I am in the layout of the course. And it's important that you realize that Moodle has what's called breadcrumbs. So this is where I am, the last area. If I go from right to left, I'll go into week one. And if I go further, I'll go into the course, which is right here. If I go any further, I'm out of the course. So let's continue and go to week one and see what else. Notice now it's ticked. So yes, Moodle has an amazing tracking system. And we'll get to that uh, in the advanced Moodle course. This is just the beginners. Okay, next, the introduction. You need to introduce yourself. Notice what it says here. Uh, please introduce yourself and share if you've ever used Moodle before as a teacher or student and so on. That's all you need to do. And then, of course, with the support, we've ticked that off. Next, we're going to go into week two resources on Moodle. This is where you become a teacher. Up to now, you are a student. You will be a student in this particular course, but you are also assigned to two other courses. One is the teacher practice area, and this is where you will practice the resources. Notice it is ticked off for me, but you won't have it ticked off until you do the following. You go into the teacher practice area. Let's do that now. And you need to document your work using Screencast-O-Matic and explain how it works. First thing you do is you choose a topic. So let's go into topic four, for example. Okay, there's no one here in this topic. Next, since you have teacher rights, you'll be able to edit. And there it is. There's the editor. As a teacher, students don't have this. You won't have it in the student area. So there we are. Now it's red, which means that it's on. Now I can add. Now I can only add to this area as a manager. When I'm not a manager, just as a teacher, let me show you what you can. As a teacher, you don't see the wheel anymore, the editing area. What you see is only this, add a, an activity or resource right here. This is what you can do as a teacher. So you click on it, and then you get a list of uh, activities, but you're going to focus on the resources for a start. As I said, these are built in the Moodle, 
the activities can be added. So you've got book, file, folder. You're going to learn about each of these. Don't worry so much about the IMS content package. You can ignore that, but try all the others. How do you do it? You simply go into one, the book, and then you have an explanation. And this is really important. Moodle doesn't expect you to remember anything. Everywhere you'll see question marks. If you click on them, you'll get an explanation. Here's the explanation for the book and what it does. So try it out. Let's continue. Click on add and it will appear and then continue. I'm not going to do it for you, but that's what you need to do. Before you start anything, you need to add your name. So you're going to go into label. Okay, there it is, label. Add it. All right, now this is a label. It's just a heading. And there are different ways to add a heading. It's not just text, but it's multimedia. Let's wait for the editor. Now notice the editor is one row. I'm going to click over here and uh, it's going to turn into four. Look at that. Sorry, three. Okay, so now we've got three areas. We're going to go, notice here, you've got images, smileys, videos. You can add an embedded file. And you can also speak through a microphone or through your webcam. A recorded video. You can also draw a picture and get your photo straight from the editor. Yes, this is an editor and this is the area where you write. So take advantage of the features. You can also change the background, change the font, and so on. The size. And you can embed. But I suggest you don't. You don't need to. If you want to add a YouTube video, simply add the video, the link of the video, hyperlink it, make it active, and then it'll appear as a video. You can also um, notice here, restrict access, add completion. Go through this, see what it's like. You can indicate not. These are features that you'll be using with your students, show or not show. So I'm going to add a label, and the label is going to be my name, Nelly Testing. Okay for Nelly, testing Nelly. All right, and then don't forget to save. You can also notice here, expect completed by. These are features that are very, very important for a teacher. And there's my name. Now I can start adding the resources. First start, okay, this is week two. Once I document and explain each of the resources, how I added them using Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm using right now, by the way, I'm explaining and creating this video through Screencast-O-Matic. So now I'm going to go back. Okay, so back to Moodle for teachers. Teacher practice area, this is the main area. I'm going to go into the dashboard and look for the course, which is uh, Moodle for teachers. Okay, Moodle training. Teacher. So that was in the TPA. Notice there's also a manager practice area. So that's what I do. I go into resources, and this is where I'm going to add the link to the YouTube video because you upload your video straight from Screencast O Matic to YouTube. You just click and it goes. So that's how it's done. If you need help, please ask. You click on add a new discussion, add your the name, subject, and in this case it's resources and uh, screencast-o-matic. All right, using screencast-o-matic would be more specific here. Using screencast-o-matic, and I'm going to add the link. Now let me show you how you add. So here I am. I'm going to add screencast-o-matic so that um, the video. And notice what I do, I just paste the link of the video, then I hyperlink it by going over it with my mouse. Let's go into three here, so you see that there are three. Then I'm going to go into insert edit link, paste it once again there, link URL. I can open it in this window or in a new window, it doesn't really matter. Give it a title, in this case it's screencast-o-matic. Oh, Matic. 
and then click on insert. Okay, notice sometimes it's insert, sometimes it's safe, but in this case it's insert because what happens in the system is that it gets embedded, but you don't have to know any of that. But make sure that once you um, activate the link that so you scroll down and then you post to form. Okay, and then wait a little bit or click on continue and here you are. Now you've got 30 minutes to edit. So let's see if everything's okay here. There's the video. Okay, so it's been inserted and you can watch that and learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic. So let's continue here. We're using the breadcrumbs, as you recall, and we're going, we are here, this is the page. We're going to week two, because we're going to go on to week three. So we were in the teacher practice area and we practiced using resources. Now we're going to go on to week three and the activities. And here are some of the activities, but there are a lot more. Try to focus on these just to get an idea. And don't forget to document your work using Screencast-O-Matic. Once you finish your work, please go into activities right here. It'll only get picked off if you do the work. And then you click on add a new discussion topic. Add your topic, which is activities, and anything else you want to say, add them. And don't forget to post to forum. Okay, let's go on. We're on activities. We're going to go back into week three and continue with week four. Okay, in week four, notice you are going to practice as a manager and the manager practice area you're going to practice using the blocks. So let's go into the manager practice area where you have been assigned as a manager. You can watch the recording. And then what you need to do again is go to the top just as a teacher to get your editing turned on. You see it's red, which means that it's turned on. So I don't need to turn it on, but if I click on it when it's red, it'll turn off. Okay, so let's turn it back on. Notice this is a toggler. It just uh, gets things, it maximizes so that you don't see things on the left. And this is just for your convenience. You can also minimize everything, but notice now there's the editing. You can move things around. Okay, now you're a manager. You can also minimize, but you can do that at any time so you don't see any of this. Okay, the navigation, minimize it all. But you can also move things around and change their positions. Here are the blocks. Notice the blocks are right here. So you can open it up and start exploring. And as you explore, of course, you use Screencast-O-Matic like I'm doing right now, and you explain what's happening. But before you do any of that, try to go into the administration. So we need the administration. Let's go back to the plus. Okay, you need the left here and you're going to go into the course notice uh, turn editing off on editing the course course completion all this information is here and you'll be able to play around with it here you are a manager of a course not every teacher gets these rights so take advantage in case your college doesn't and see what's there and if you like something ask your administrator or tech person to provide you with it like poodle on the Moodle, which is everything, of course, is free. All right, so you can also switch roles and so on. Just um, don't delete what I've added, but you can add your own. Notice uh, there's a sandbox here. Go into Manage Sandbox. This is where you can go into add an activity and, of course, play around with the uh, blocks. Some activities are only available to managers and not to teachers. Another reason why it's good to be a manager. So whatever you couldn't do as a teacher, you'll have a chance to practice now as a manager. Let's go back, breadcrumbs. We're going back to the dashboard. We're in the manager practice area. We're going into the course as learners. 
I'm sure you had a good time working as a teacher and then as a manager, but let's go back so you can get your badges. Yes, there are badges and your certificate at the end of the course so that you can show your friends and colleagues that you have accomplished and you have done something and you have learned how to noodle. So let's, we're in week four, you go into blocks, same thing, and you add your input by going into add a new discussion and you add the link to your YouTube video, the one that you created. So let's go back to week four and we're going to go on to the certificate. All right, now that you've done everything, you qualify for a certificate. In case you want to know what you need to do, you need to introduce yourself, read the layout, add blocks, your video tutorials, add a video tutorial for your activities and for your resources. The order of course is resources, activities, and then blocks. Once you get that, uh, let me uh, change here. I'm going to switch my role to you and you are a Moodle student. Okay, you're not a facilitator, you are a Moodle student. So let's return. Notice you can switch roles here, you can become a student. You'll see this as a manager. On the left, you'll have all these rights in the Moodle, in the manager practice area. So we're gonna switch as Moodler. Okay, and that's you as a student. Okay, you won't be able to see this. Not available until you do this. Okay, so make sure that you get that done. I want to show you uh, the badge. So let's uh, go into uh, the navigation. Notice the badges are here. Course badges. And these are the badges for each week. Notice one, four, three, two. Okay, the order is not the way it should be. But that's uh, Moodle. So notice uh, what you need to do to get badge for week one, uh, badge for week two over here, and so on. So these are the badges. Let's continue here and use the breadcrumbs. Remember, we're going from course badges to uh, bad the course itself. Notice you can find badges in the navigation. You can also find it in the administration. So there are two places to find your badges here. You can also get other information in the navigation. So you might want to document that through your um, Screencast-O-Matic and create videos. In addition, uh, notice that you also um, have a chance to go into badges.